What's up guys, this is Colonel Twerkins and this is my guide on levels 1 through 5 in the overall guide on how to get from level 1 to 30 in DC Universe Online. To our machine gun on Okay, I'm back. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and start off creating a character. And not sure if I'm going to go through this step by step with you or if I'm going to speed it up, but let's go anyway. So let's just do that. Nothing fancy. We pretty much have it all together. Let's go ahead and name it. Download successful. Okay, so basically Oracle's gonna tell you all this junk, but basically you just gotta make it through these guys. Uh, you gotta fight this guy to open the door. Now, uh, sometimes you gotta get close to the door. Okay, closer. Come on, open the door. Get ready. My readings show forces gathering beyond that door. Come on, open the door. Doors open. Just go through all these guys. They're like so simple to beat. Okay, and flight is ultra slow <laughs> in this game, but uh, once it actually gets going back to normal speed, uh, you can use the jump button or space bar, uh, you know, just to kind of those little boosts for some reason makes it a little faster. Or at least in my mind, it just seems that way. But I know a lot of people do that. Okay, so Brainiac Overseer right here. Uh, normally, you just go ahead and beat this guy. But what I like to do in these beginning levels, uh, you see that, uh, is earn my feats by letting it knock me to the ground. It didn't that time, but it will this next time. So after so many times, you get feet points, which leads to skill points. And that actually makes you more powerful. That's what leads to the power in this game. <clears throat> Other than, you know, maybe uh, gear or mods and things like that. So basically, someone could be a level, let's say, 60. And you could be a level 40. You could have 100 skill points. And they could have 50. And you're going to be more powerful than they are because of your skill points. Okay, one more I believe and then we should be good.
There we go. Usability five times, and that gives us ten more points. That's done. That was an overseer. Let's get you out of Up to this door. When I first started this game about three years ago, man, it took me forever just to figure out that I had to go up there in order to... <laughs> even though it showed it to me, I just didn't get it right away. Okay, this is where you're going to get some gear. First note is go over to your style and you're going to want to lock all so that you don't change your look unless, of course, you want to. Then you're going to go ahead and open up the inventory and you're going to hit these laminated synthium gauntlets and, and uh, add those. <clears throat> this is your first piece of gear that you're being given around this corner. This is the first treasure box that you're going to get. Bust that open, you're going to get uh, one more piece of gear, some soda cola and experience. Okay, notice I'm not changing my look. Just adding the stats from the gear onto my character. The entire ship is connected to Brainiac. You have to keep moving. Okay. Okay. Get ready. The ship is sending more security. And while we're here, you've already been given your first power point, which you can activate. And I'm just going to go with the Vine Lash. Guys around the corner. Get over here. Okay. And didn't really get anything there. I always forget sometimes what I get from some of these guys. There's a high security nexus up ahead. Get through and use the transport tube. Okay, and this is our second prize box. These treasure boxes you'll find uh, throughout the game in your solo missions, duos, and things like that. And they always contain some gear or something that's useful for you in the game. Okay, one of the things you'll notice uh, uh, in these parts of the game is these barrels. The red flame means, of course, that it's like a fire uh, barrel that you can throw at them, uh, you know, not to Donkey Kong, um, maybe. Uh, and and uh, the others have a little green icon with a cross on it, and that, or a plus sign, however you want to look at it. And that is basically going to be uh, for health, to regenerate your health. Those you'll find a lot throughout the game. The reason I'm mentioning them now, mentioning them now, is for the fact that you do get a feat for however many you break. Um, you know, like I said, feat points are very important, and we will have our chance to uh, bust a few of them. I believe there's a 10 and 25 in order to get feet. There's a five, and then I believe there's a 10 and 25 as well. Uh, the gray ones are force, some sort of force barrels they put up some sort of barrier thing and they knock things around okay so basically we just want to get rid of all these guys and move through the door to the next room you may want to break a few barrels to get you closer to those, those feet points yep yep that didn't work <laughs> okay anyway moving on okay so let's go here Okay, we gotta go through here now. They're gonna uh -oh. do another little cutscene. Uh -oh. 
energy readings. Brainiac has a full invasion. You will actually get your opportunity to, to explore, it. or rather, you know, see more of the Brainiac ship in coming missions uh, that you can do, including like Brainiac uh, subconstruct and others. this thing right here okay now these guys that are coming at you um, you're gonna have to block the first ones okay these are the lungers is to teach you the um, different ways that the um, enemies can attack you in the game and how to break those different attacks Next should be, uh, let's see, the, in the ranged attacks, okay, which means you lunge. So for lunger lungers, you block. For rangers, you uh, lunge. And then for blockers, you range. Pretty simple. Uh, it took me a while, actually, to really figure that out. Uh, being that DCO was really like my first MMO, my first real foray into gaming, actually, so. Okay. And blockers. Uh, let's see. There you go. See, even I can forget. So we're going to go in here, and we've got a skill point, which we can't put on flight yet. That will come later at level 9. But for our weapon, we can come in here and add the next one. Okay. And we'll add our next piece of gear, which are the feet. Servitor, good old Servitor tech boots. Okay. Now, like I said, these are the uh, regeneration barrels. We really do a lot of damage to them. To these guys, we just uh, to keep you powered up but in this beginning level you don't really need them I mean they really do you no good unless you just really can't get it but it's usually pretty easy then again you'd be surprised I'm just gonna go around and break them there is feats for the, the orange as well as the reds Just go ahead and break those and move on. The ship's main gun is up ahead. Destroy it, and the ship's external defense network will go down. Then the lead can get in and get you out of See, here. he's a lunger. That's how you take him down. Oh, see? more powerful do not let the prisoner reach okay, the, enter the control room come on fly faster damage to the power couplings will destabilize the ship you cannot stop the conversion yeah sure this is like what my 50th time stopping you know you're in the nexus destroy anything connecting the gun to the ship <clears throat> okay don't worry about these guys. They're not going to even really be able to do anything to you. They're going to try to stop you. Just go and bust their things. It's just so easy. It really is. Now, cutscene. Yes, the gun is falling. It's smashing into Brainiac's bottle below. For the longest time, I didn't even know what that what she was saying. I, I was like, Brainiac's what? <laughs> And then I realized after playing the game and seeing that it was the bottle, like that what he put over parts of the city, you'll see later. Don't worry about him charging up, it's not really gonna do anything to you. Except knock you back. Now he's supposedly recharging. Oh, 
Okay, now you got your Cynthia thread cape thing in your belt. Superman, get ready. I'm bringing you in. Foolish human. You have doomed your... You will go down with this ship. Think again, Brainiac. You can't take out the both of us. And we're not leaving until we shut this ship down. Permanently. The thing about Superman in this game is like, he's always so much weaker, you know, actually all of them are. It's like, you have, you do all the work, basically. Like, come on, Super, stop being lazy, man. And these, basically, I mean, it's just smash, smash, smash. That's all. And I would just keep doing this, uh, hitting, holding down, um, one or rather uh, left mouse click. Almost there. Keep fighting. The network doesn't want to let me in. And you set up um, in your settings. You would set up auto follow. Oh, well, not auto follow. Um, let's see. Targeting. Um, oh, I thought I had auto lock on. Guess not. <laughs> anyway, just keep holding left mouse click and, well, at least looking in their direction. I mean, you can set it to do that, though, to look in their directions. It's kind of annoying for me, so I don't have it set that way. What up, Superman? Nice work. Brainiac wasn't counting on you breaking free and disabling his ship. Now use the teleporter and get yourself back to the city. You've got work to do. Okay. Since I chose Batman, I'm going to be ending up in yes, Trump, I mean, done. Gotham. <laughs> if I had chosen um, Wonder Woman or uh, Superman, I would end up in Our every Metropolis. tactic failed. We're going to skip that because really right now, it's just not even important. If you want to see that stuff, you be my guest and watch it. But for the sake of the video, we just want to go as fast as possible. Congrats! Now that you're off the ship, I'm Oracle. Teleported into Gotham's Night okay. Precinct Station, one of the many Justice League safe houses we keep in Gotham and Metropolis. Now, she wants you to go to all these different spots and check out all these different people. Mailboxes, vendors, Teleporter to the Justice League Watchtower. And you go there. Blah, 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 blah. Well, pick up this first piece of mail you got because you definitely want that. Okay. It's going to be your mask. Or just something that just gives you a little more, like I said, stats. Okay. Okay. Here's a really good tip that I think you guys got to, like, really think about consider it now if you're free to play of course you're not going to be able to get any more than 2,000 bucks at a time right but currently I don't have enough for this but once you get up here I'm going to show you what this personal covert dematerializer will really be good for you gotta earn some more money so let's uh, sell some stuff Go ahead, check your mail. I sent you something. Then find Sergeant Doak. She has a message for you from Batman. Okay, we will... Find Sergeant Doak. I know you're new, but Scarecrow busted out of Arkham Asylum and is nuking the East End with beer gas. The GCPD and Hazmat just can't handle okay, this. Okay, save the world. We don't even really need to listen to him. Let's see if you can handle hero work. Let's just go out here. Scarecrow has escaped from Arkham Asylum and is filling the East End with fear gas. Okay, but this right here, just so you know, is your journal. Uh, it's going to give you all of your missions, and you're going to accept them as you get them. Okay. Okay, these are your races. You're not going to really worry about that right now. We're just trying to get up in our levels. 
they don't really uh, hinder, but they don't really help uh, right now. Okay, so you gotta defeat 15 screamers and collect uh, fear gas activators. Go through these guys real quick. <laughs> so this thing that we have, this power is definitely helps to, to uh, take down as many of these as we can. I don't think I've got any more power points. No, not yet. Usually it'll tell you on the screen. Okay. I'm going to make real short work of these guys. If you hear that sound, that's the sound of an investigation. Or it can be a brief, but in this case, it's an investigation. You do want to collect these because these are going to lead to more gear that you can use in game for different styles and uh, some, just some cool looks. Is fear itself? He was, of course. Basically what I did was I hit uh, J and I had the mission to complete and I just hit complete and collected the reward. The gassed areas of the east end are a living nightmare. Gotham Hazmat is overwhelmed. In control, but be careful. Now I will tell you that if you go around here, you're going to find, uh, well usually it's right there. There's different... Um, how should I say there's different uh, investigations and briefings the investigations are green and briefings are blue and those are ones they're in different areas I can show you that in a different video but for right now let's get where we got to go very slowly because this thing takes forever when it comes to flying And if you do get legendary right out the gate I, and you are flight capable, I would suggest if you do have the, um, not, uh, if you have like the station cash or whatever it is uh, that they call it now, you would go and buy the ring, which is the pterosaurus or something like that ring. And it turns you into a pterosaurus, but it allows you to use the high speed flight right away. You don't have to be level nine. That's another good tip. Okay, this is the one I hate the most. Oh my gosh. Other than the, I uh, can't remember those other little fat guys that look like the Screamers, Jokers, Goon guys. It, those guys really, I can't stand those. Okay, so I'm gonna defend the hazmat workers. And they're, where are they? Oh wait, let's get this investigation. Experiment nine ten. To equate. Okay, you see the little symbol right here? Yeah, that's where we're supposed to go. Okay, oops. Um, even if they unlock it, if you get next to them, usually it will count for you. <clears throat> if you've done some of the damage so that you don't have to worry about 
I forgot. Just defend the hazmat workers. <coughs> That other sound that you hear in the background is uh, exobits. These here, you just get close to it, you can collect those. <clears throat> That's what you're going to use for modding. Hey, I'm working here. Get up above these guys. I hate that they slow you down whenever. Cause his flight is already slow enough. Uh, okay, what just happened? There was, there was one right there, and then it was gone. I guess somebody got to him before I did. Uh, come on, come on. Oh, Mr. Quantum Man! Nucleo! Okay, come on, come on, because these are so boring. Hallucinations. Uh, didn't get any credit for that. Ah, oh, come on. Best thing to do is to fly straight up and just move around until you find another one. There we go. There's one right there. I still got credit for that, so it doesn't matter. Uh, he's trying to get to him quick. Ah, uh, come on. Oh my gosh, I can't stand this part. Okay, good. We both got credit for that one. There we go. It doesn't matter if you get it before me, guy. We're still going to get credit for it. If you actually did any damage. Okay. Another one. Ah. Uh,
Fuck it. Give me a lot, a lot of hallucinating victims, but not officers. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. We're done with that. Let's go up in the air. Okay. Find hazmat officer in the Bowery. Okay, I guess we didn't finish that. Hey, so there we you go. should know that people everywhere can use your help. Usually you'll find them near crisis spots in the city. Here's one. See if you can lend a hand. <sighs> okay, I did already do that. Thanks. It was horrible to listen to my people screaming. Oh yeah, these are the other parts that suck. Okay, so let's see here. We gotta defeat Scarecrow's gang, destroy gas foggers, and secure and protect villain, super, bleh, bleh, civilians until a hazmat arrives. Okay. You guys are awesome for watching and if you have any questions or something I didn't cover let me know in the comments level 6 through 10 will be up tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time or GMT minus six hours so be sure to subscribe for that and the like goes to help feed a starving child in my home <laughs> and share with someone you think will enjoy these videos as well it would help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. Twerkins out.